Hi everybody, Big Red here, uh, Larry Vella from Bell Lost Souls, and we are taking a look at the Flames of War Open Fire box set, and this is a big, big deal for Battlefront miniatures. Uh, for any of you guys who uh, follow World War II Historical, uh, they, they've they had, over the years, a couple different starter box sets to kind of get you introduced to the rules, but they were fairly small affairs. It was, it was a couple dice, you know, the rule book, and, uh, and tanks, mainly, it's what it's been. But uh, what we have here is, uh, this is kind of the big, this is, you know, their big mainline product. This is, you know, the, you know you walk into your game store and, you, you know, all the major, uh, all the major, you know, lines of war games have their, have their big kind of fancy box set for people who don't know anything about the game who want to start. And uh, Battlefront has definitely cranked out an amazing uh, kit here with a lot of value and, and they've really kind of revolutionized their game. So uh, here's the box right here, open fire. Uh, as you can see, uh, it comes with... Uh, uh, British and American forces, six Sherman tanks, two Firefly tanks, 32 paratroopers, German forces, 73 grenadiers, two pack 40 guns, three Stug assault guns. Really, really quickly, let me just flip this box over so you can get an idea of what we're talking about here. We have uh, uh, all the stuff that comes in the box set. You get the rule book, uh, you get quick start guides, you get all the miniatures, you get a, a terrain piece, you get a V1 buzz bomb on launch rail, which you can see right here in the middle of the picture. There's the V1. Pretty snazzy, that's in plastic. Uh, objective markers, dice, army tokens, everything. You get, you know, as, the, as they kind of make sure that you see here, this box contains all the miniatures shown in this photo. So you get all of this stuff, and they're all in plastic. So that is the big, huge deal, is we are seeing... Uh, we are seeing... Battlefront definitely move forward with both feet. They're jumping in. They are all plastic now, which is a huge, huge leap forward for Flames of War. So we're going to open this guy up in just a second and uh, show you all the stuff that you get in it and why it is is it is uh, such a uh, a monumental leap for Flames of War. Okay, we are back. Box is open. Let's take a look. Uh, first things first. We have a little plastic spacer. Don't need that. Uh, kind of the standard stuff that you expect. You have your pack of, uh, you got your 20 dice, 10 in uh, American green and 10 with German gray. Oh, what you would expect there. And then all the plastics. Uh, first of all, before we get into the miniatures, let's just move some of these things aside. Uh, you get the mini rule book. This is the full size mini rule book that, uh, you know, it is, uh, it is a good size thing as you can sell. It is thick. You got, it is, you know, 200, almost 300 pages. It is full color, lavishly detailed and illustrated tons of examples. So you get the full rule book there, put that aside. Uh, you get, let me pull these out so you can take a look at these. You get sample army lists to get you guys started. Here is the Grenadier Company, 790 points that come in the box. This tells you all their... Uh, uh, the cool thing about this is that you're actually seeing pretty detailed pictures of what individual stands look like, which miniatures go on the stands. Kind of the quick and dirty army list. You get all the tanks and the guns in the back. Stat cards, so everything you need to play. So there's your German list. The United States has an identical one. So they have all of their units, how the platoon goes together, what goes on all the bases, all their stats. You flip this card over, you get the same thing. You get um, how all the tanks go together, you get the fireflies, you get the Shermans. So really, really easy to get you up and running. And But what I really want to show you guys is uh, you also get really, really quickly, I'll come back to that, you get, um, you get some cardboard. Uh, knockout terrain, you get objectives, you know, you get just, just kind of some, some standard tokens that, you know, you would expect from this kind of thing. You get some, you get some, uh, uh, cardboard woods and marker and, uh, markers to use for your, for your miniatures for actually playing the missions and, you know, it gets you started. Uh, you have quick start guide. That quick start guide is, uh, same thing, full color. Let's see how many pages that is. That is approximately 50 pages. And that, um, uh, it's not a substitute for the rule book, but it gets you started. This is basically, you know, a really lavish quick start guide. This is, you know, how do you, how does it, you know, how does a game actually work? Kind of gets you start, you know, how do stats work? All that kind of basic stuff gets you, gets you up and running, big pictures, eat, you know, kind of standard, simple, uh, uh, standard situ situations, and one very, very simple standard mission. And you get all of that 
you know, you get uh, slightly more detailed uh, sample lists for both Germans and Americans. So you could, for instance, just use this book to get you started without having to go out and immediately purchase a whole campaign book. So you could, you know, you would use this along with what comes in the box set and you could go out and buy a few more units to get you up and running. So now that we've gotten all those, we're going to talk about the miniatures. And this is the part that is just totally amazing. And we'll be back in a second. All right, let's dive into the miniatures. So before we really get into the miniatures, first we need to talk about what it has been like for ever, effectively, to do infantry and vehicles uh, in Flames of War for years and years and years. Normally when you would buy a squad of uh, a platoon of infantry in Flames of War, what you would get is you'd buy a blister pack or box set and you get, you know, standard kind of plastic clamshell. And in that clamshell, you got a whole bunch, like 40, you know, 40 plus little guys. They were about yay big. They were metal. They're all white, white metal. You got a whole bunch of them. Um, they were in different poses. Uh, you had to look at them really carefully. Uh, there was really no identifying, you know, icons or symbols or anything on the guys. You had to kind of look at every guy and figure out what is this guy supposed to be. So there'd be guys who were running and guys who were kneeling and guys firing rifles and guys firing something that maybe it was a rifle or maybe it was a light machine gun. You couldn't quite tell. And is that a sergeant or is that an officer? But it was, you know, it took a little bit of skill. Then that that platoon, that blister pack would also come with a whole bunch of bases. Those bases would be of the proper size for your men, for the platoon, but they wouldn't, they were completely plain. They were just slick plastic. They were featureless. So, you know, learning to assemble infantry and build your platoons was definitely one of the primary skills of assembling the Flames of War army. You would have to understand from your army list exactly what your platoon looked like. Uh, how many squads it was supposed to be, how many bases it had to be on. You had to know, do, do these bases need four guys? Do they need five guys each? Do, is it, you know, uh, and then you would need to know, you know, within each one of those bases, uh, do I need so many guys, you know, uh, no more than one guy per base has a machine gun. Maybe two guys per base have a machine gun. So there's all these little kind of internal rules that, that you need to do, and you have to figure that out on your own. Then you have to get these little white, white metal miniatures, prep them, clean them up, get the base, kind of scuff it up a little bit because it was glossy so that it would stick together, put the guys on it, glue the guys on it, and then you had these guys sitting on top of these bases, so then you'd have to find some way to kind of put gravel and kind of cover up, you know, make them blend into the base. And definitely, you know, that was, that was you know, good quality basing and infantry, probably more than any other thing, was the distinguishing characteristic of, you know, of a Flames of War modeler. Now, we're going to take a look at this. First of all, you get this amazing little fold-out here. So, let's look at this fold-out. We'll start with the German side. So on the German side, we're looking at a pen. So first we have the Stugs, which are in plastic. You get three of these. Here's the assembly guide, how all the pieces go together. It's all plastic. There's no resin. There's no white metal on these kits. It's just you put them all together. They look good. Boom, you end up with a tank. Um, but so that's cool enough, and we'll look at those later. The big deal is this. Look at how this infantry thing works. First of all, they're telling you, um, here's an example of a gun. So the gun is going to be made of these pieces. It's going to go together. It assembles like that. You put it, and then it comes with these exact crewmen who have these little symbols, you know, GC gun crew, I suppose. GC, 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 and it makes that. Here's a command team that comes with, you know, these three guys, an officer, an RO, and an N. Um, um, there you go, that makes this Command Panzerfaust SMG team. And they do this for all the squads. So you know how to build, you know, here's a, here's a Grenadier squad. That Grenadier, that Grenadier squad is going to have a squad of five guys and a squad of four guys. And it's going to look like that and look like that and tells you exactly how to do it. No fuss, no muss. Now the, now the issue is, what do all those things mean? So you're looking about, out that and you're already, so here's a little guide of what they mean, officer, radio operator, Panzerfaust, Panzer Shrek, so you, NCO. So first of all, you understand what all these things are. So it's easy to get to find your guys and put them together. But um, there is an American side as well, but you know, it's effectively the same thing, except there's the instructions on how to do the, uh, the, the cool uh, buzz bomb objective marker, which is kind of neat. But we'll put that aside. But the big deal is, let's take a look at this. And this is the single thing in this kit that, if anything, brings Flames of War firmly into the 21st century. It is this. Take a look at that. I'll hold this guy sideways so you can takes up the whole picture. Let me move this aside 
really quickly so that it's against the background. I will, I will bring it back. So what you have here, let me zoom this camera in just a second. Um, so this is a brand new German infantry frame in plastic. So flip this guy over right there. There we go. And what we have here is on one frame, you get the entire platoon. There are two of these frames in this kit. So there's a huge amount of guys on here. You can tell there's, you know, you know probably about, about 40 guys on there in all their various poses. They're very, very uh, 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 crisply detailed. Uh, they are a, a huge leap forward in quality uh, and detail to the old white, white metal ones. Uh, you know, which had a certain amount of criticism uh, put on them over the years. These are, you know, entirely new sculpts. And they're all totally labeled. So there you go. So there's the N, the machine gunner, the machine gunner, the rifleman, the rifleman. There's the officer. There's the Panzerfaust. There's the radio man. Um, you know, and it just goes all the way down. So it is now, uh, you know, here's a two-man machine gun team. They're, they're kneeling. And, and, and that uh, previous um, instruction pamphlet, you know, said exactly how to, how, to, how to put these together. So think about, from just a point of view, of how much simpler it is for you to buy a platoon now. Now, if you want to go into a store and upgrade your army and add infantry, you're just going to go and you're going to buy something that has, you know, some, something like this on it in the days of head, which is just, a, a just, a just orders of magnitude easier uh, on you as a, as a hobbyist. There's the back side of it. And um, so, you know, there we go. You can see all the fronts of the guys. Good detail on these guys. You have guys, you know, we have guys shooting, guys advancing, guys carrying you know, uh, sergeants, you know, waving their men forward. You have guys carrying, you know, who, you know, who look tired and guys are carrying lots of supplies and all kinds of stuff. So that's just the German infantry. So said you get in the box set, you get one, two of those. So you get two of those sprues that takes care of your German, uh, infantry. We'll go to the next thing. There were those three stoogs. Those are the tanks. And so you get three of these frames. There they are right there you can see put that right there and all the same thing you get the two sides the top the base all the little top details the gun equipment so there's the back side of that um, there's the stug so you get three of those uh, moving on we're just going to be going through all these because there is so much stuff in this kit next we have the guns the guns are in the guns are interesting. The guns have the crewmen for the guns are on that big platoon sprue that we showed you, but there's an individual gun right there with all the pieces on it. You also, and this is the first time that we've seen this, uh, the guns have uh, uh, you get. That's an example of what I was talking about before. You get. A base. Now, this base, if you notice, let me move it over here so it's not quite as glossy, uh, has the little holes already in it, which is cool. So that is where your crewmen are going to go. Uh, most artillery bases, uh, uh, in this case, there's a few extra holes that are uh, you're not going to have uh, enough crewmen, so you get these little metal markers, which have little crates and ammo things that you can use to fill those holes. And now, because those holes are already sunk into the, into that base when you put the infantry on them. And you put these little uh, markers. It's really, really easy now to just kind of put some, you know, put you know a little bit of paint, uh, some static grass, and you're going to have really, really nice results. So, once again, huge, huge leap forward compared to the old method of basing in Flames of War. Uh, just for fun, really quick. There's the uh, what I'm sure is going to be a very, very popular little sprue. There's the cool objective piece that comes in the box set. That is a V1 buzz bomb, uh, German on a big giant launch rail, which is just, you know, it's, you know, you know, couldn't, you know, I'm happy to see that, you know, they went through the trouble of making this as opposed to just putting in, you know, another cardboard token that said super objective. So I'm all for cool little neat characterful World War II things that bring you into it. And let me take a quick break and then we will show you the Americans. We are back. Let's take a look at the Americans. So starting off here with uh, Shermans, same thing, all plastic Sherman, tracks, turrets, you get your gunners, you get the uh, cupola, uh, 50 cal, barrels, bottom of the chassis, flip this guy over, top of the chassis, all the details, all plastic, little baggage pieces here. You know, it's a nice cool kit. You get six of those. So there's your six Shermans. 
You also get two fireflies, which we will put here with their, with uh, which you know is effectively a variant of the Sherman. It has a slightly different turret, as you can tell. It has a big, longer, longer barrel. Same thing, sides, chassis. Flip that over. You get uh, uh, top of the hull. You get uh, all baggage and all kinds of neat stuff to accessorize your kit. You get two of those. You have a grand total of eight, eight uh, American tanks. And the thing that I kind of wanted to show you that we waited to the end to show you, and that is the bases. So, and the bases are, as I said, are a big deal. They are a huge improvement over what existed before. You get all the bases that you need for all the different um, stands. As you can tell, you get. Uh, Get small, you get uh, small command bases. Those have three little holes in them. You get uh, standard infantry bases uh, in different variations. So you get, you know, you get, you know, different kind of patterns in them. For you get ones here with four guys in it. You get four guys in it. You get five guys. You get five guys. They're all slightly different. So you're going to have a neat amount of variation for basing your guys. Everything is ready to go. Those holes are already sunk in there, which are going to be a good fit for when you when you drop the little bases of the plastic guys in there. So, you know, overall, pretty amazing kit. Let me put all this stuff back together, and then we'll go. We'll look at it all in whole and talk about the price.